Hello everybody. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to join me today. Let me turn that volume down. Um, I am going to try to finish up this Thanksgiving card. I started it last week or the week before and I've had a lot of problems as I mentioned in one of my other videos with um, Design Space and so I didn't get it done in time to send it to uh, the person I intended to send it to but I am going to send it to instead or give it to um, some good friends that we have here in the area and I'll be seeing them tomorrow so I thought I might finish it up and put their um, little boys fingerprints or handprints on the back because they're um, under three and about one and a half so um, I thought that might be cute for them so anyway it's just a little card I've been working on it isn't anything fancy um, the cardstock I used initially was way too thin, so I added a piece of Nina Solar White card cover stock on the back. And I'm just going to, it's a fold flip-up card, an easel card, whatever. So I'm going to add this happy birthday to it. I mean, I don't think I've got this so you can see very well. So hopefully that's better. Anyway. So I'm going to put this greeting on the front. I'm going to pop this up a little bit. And I've got some little pop-up dots. These are just some cheap ones that I bought at, um, where did I get these? Uh, probably one of the dollar stores. I don't know which one. We have so many here. I live um, in the Raleigh, North Carolina area and you can't swing a stick without um, hitting a dollar store. <laughs> Literally, they're just, they're everywhere. Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, I don't know what the other one's, Super, it's not Super Dollar, but uh, there's another one. Anyway, they're all over. So, I think, I'm pretty sure that's where I got these. And I just want to pop this up a little bit because, actually, I'm not putting this on the front of the card. This is going inside of the card. Um, I think I got all those. Yeah, this is going in what will be the inside of the card. So it's going to go somewhere about here. And it'll help hold that, that other piece up. So I think I got that straight. And look, see now it'll stand up on its own, which is what we want. I knocked something off my table. That's what I thought, one of my little flowers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now under that is I'm going to um, stick some of these flowers that I used the print and cut feature to cut out. Um, I had a lot of problems with that. That was one of the things that I was on the phone with uh, Cricut Support about last week for three hours. Um, it was actually three separate phone calls, and each one took roughly an hour, give or take, but it was about three hours in total. So I thought I might slip that little pumpkin under there. And actually, I have a smaller one. Um, it's just a tiny bit smaller. I might slip that there. We'll see. Uh, just gonna, I had kind of figured out where I wanted everything, and then, um, you know, Design Space did what sometimes Design Space does, and it all just kind of disappeared. <laughs> so I'm kind of starting from scratch here. Um, let's see. But I think I was going to put a couple of those down there, and I, I was actually going to layer these. Let's see. How did those go together? It looks like that. So I was actually, and you know what? I should get my either inks or pens and just kind of color these edges. 
So let me see if I can find a nice, oh, there's ripe persimmon. It looks kind of orangey. And a small one here somewhere, I think. Yeah. So let's try it on this pumpkin because I'm not really sure I'm going to leave that pumpkin there. I'm just going to, oh, that's way too much. Yeah. Should have wiped that off on my, okay. Yep. I knew better than that. I don't know if you can see it, but it really stained the edge of that pumpkin a lot more than I had intended. So we won't be, well, I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible. And especially if I put it on the other side, they won't be able to see that. So, you know what? I think I'm going to get a different brush because don't like this one for this. It's too soft, which I never thought I'd say. Um, I'll leave that there so I know I need to clean it. Let's see here. Let's try this one instead. I think that one actually looks pretty good. Let's try, let's try and do this leaf. I don't know how well it works. This is a much, oh, I guess I should get you on camera so you can see. It's a much thinner cardstock. So it's, it's not super stiff. I actually ordered it on accident. And it wasn't what I thought it was. That worked pretty good. Okay, I think we just stack these and do the same thing. So these images are watercolor images that I bought off of eBay. And I don't remember which shop. If anybody's really interested, I can go back through my purchases and look, uh, depending on how far back it lets me go, because some of these I've had for, for years, I think. Um, and all I did was, um, I just uploaded them into Design Space and printed them out. And, um, the girl who helped me at Cricut actually ended up having to take a picture of my project, turn it into a PDF and send it to me. And that's how I got the first set cut out. Um, but then after that, apparently they were able to fix me. And the next time I went in, my project, my images were actually showing up. So um, I'm not sure if that was a result of them fixing the problem or if it's just another one of those strange little glitches that Design Space sometimes has. Nobody that I've seen has sent me uh, an email or anything telling me that they had fixed it. So I'm not really sure if it will work the next time I go in or not. But these are just um, some of the images that I've purchased over the years and I, I like the color since it's a Thanksgiving card. I was going for something that was in the autumn color spectrum and I was pretty happy with these. Let me do those at the same time. I haven't had to re-ink this yet so that's good. Now one of the things, and I need to see if I can go in and fix it, some of these images, when they cut, um, because they're PNGs, the background is clear, and so when they cut, they actually cut with um, lots of little holes in them. Let me see if I can find one where you can see all the little holes. Well, here, this one 
hopefully you can see, I don't know, I'll, I'll kind of twist it and see, but you can see where the, the blade is cut into that. That's because those images, they have no background, and so when you um, pull them in, you get all these little uh, negative spaces or holes, and I forgot to take those out of there or blend them in with a similar color to see if I could make them disappear, so that I do want to work on for future projects but for this one since I've had nothing but trouble with it um, you know sometimes that's just how it goes I just want to get it done and I know that um, the people I'm giving it to will really appreciate it so and I guess I should do these might need just a little bit more not a lot Oh yeah, you can see, well, I can see them, but I don't know if the camera will pick them up, but there's quite a few little um, holes in there too where the watercolor image didn't go all the way, or you know, where there were negative spaces in it, I'm trying to work and talk, and I lose my train of thought, so. And you don't have to do this step, obviously, it just kind of helps make it look a little more finished and it's kind of hard to get down into some of those cracks and crevices anyway like I said this isn't a really um, isn't a really stiff cardstock it's Nina index I think so it's much thinner than what I was expecting but if you're layering cards I find at least I don't like a lot of heavy layers um, the stuff that goes on top, the embellishments and stuff, I actually like those to be a little bit um, lighter weight just because I feel like the cards can get too heavy. And, uh, you know, you want it to be able to stand up on its own, particularly a card like this, but you don't, or at least I don't want it to, to feel like a book. You know, and that's probably just personal preference. You do you. That's just, just the way I like it. So, just trying to finish up using this ink. I ended up printing out a couple, couple of different uh, print and cuts of this, just because I knew I wanted to layer some of the pieces. Um, so I have extras, which I will save for a future project. I'm sure. Well, then I just want to get kind of hide as much of that white as I can. I don't know if I can get into the corner better by doing it that way. This might be a good flower to test that theory out on. And yeah, looks like it does. So that's good to know. Excellent. I'm relatively new to card making. Um, I've always crafted my whole life. I just come from a family of people who just made their own stuff. We've just always done that. Uh, my mom and her mom and grandmother. My dad was a craftsman. Um, so I just have always, as, as long as I can remember, I've always crafted. But card making is relatively new. Now I've paper crafted over the years. Um, with different things. It started with um, scrapbooking and then it's worked into other stuff with the Cricut. I've made some baby mobiles and some birthday banners and uh, Christmas ornaments and gift bags and stuff like that. But the card making was new to me. I never really had an interest because I could always just go buy one but uh, my husband's, one of his co-workers was retiring this past summer. She retired in June, at the end of June I believe. And she was such a special lady that I really want to do something special for her. And with COVID, you know, nobody was working in the office. They were all working at home. So nobody even got to see her for four months or so before she retired. So there was no party for her, um, you know. And when somebody's worked someplace long enough to retire, it's kind of a big deal. So I put together my first card and it... I was really, really happy with it, but I kind of outdid myself. This one is nothing compared to the first one. 
I was way over the top on the first one. Um, but it was beautiful. And I was way over the top on the first one. Um, but it was beautiful and, and she really appreciated it. So that made it all worth, worthwhile. Um, cause it's, you know, you want to know that people appreciate your, your efforts and she did. And so it was, it was beautiful. If I can find pictures of it, maybe I'll post, post them in the comments afterwards, but, um, I'm really bad about taking pictures, so I don't know for sure that I have any, but we will see. I will look. So I'm going to put, because I want to bump this up and give it a little dimension, I'm going to put some of these foam sticky, double-sided sticky dots on here, the back of one of these bigger pumpkins. And I just want to make sure it's um, pretty well supported. Especially since little hands will be playing with it, I'm sure. Alright, so I kind of want to line it up where it goes. Actually, what I should do is just take off one of these. And kind of line it up. So one of those should be stuck. So now I like to go back in. Once I've got one of them stuck down, then I'll go back in and pull up the rest of those backing papers so I can stick the rest of it down. I'm just not really good at lining stuff up by eyeballing it, so I kind of like to cheat a little bit. And I got it off a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. So set that there. These little pieces get everywhere. And I'm going to pull this up so we can work on it. So I know I want to kind of center that. So maybe I'll go ahead and put that down and then start putting the leaves and stuff in. But I'm going to get some bigger foam pieces because those are kind of small. So here's some more. I'm pretty sure these came from Dollar Tree also or something like it. They're a little bit... Well, oh, okay, I see what they've done. They've got paper on both sides. So, let's kind of place these around. It's a little bit extra work since you have to take off both sides of that. Um, backing. Okay. I like to kind of try to clean as I go. You wouldn't know it by looking at my craft room because it's a disaster, but so now we're going to put this somewhere like right about there. And since this doesn't have to be perfectly centered, I'm not going to worry about just doing one and then trying to take it off of the others because then I start getting my hands full and it doesn't work that well for me. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of hold this up, hold this in front of it and see where I, where I like it. And just kind of push that all down. Make sure it's stuck. Now the foiling on this card, if you can see that, I see we've got a strange shadow that I did not notice before. Um, 
is I did with my Cricut foil. I was having problems with my, uh, well, I've had a lot of problems. It's been a month or two of problems. My laser printer died, so I couldn't do my toner foiling. My husband tried to fix it. Um, that ended up costing a fortune. It didn't work. So then we bought a new one, and for some reason the toner is not, it's rubbing off on my hand. So um, the toner foiling wasn't work. So I finally gave up and tried the Cricut. It actually, I feel like it worked pretty well. Um, let's try to get this light so it makes more sense here. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's the first thing I, that I've actually gotten to work that worked pretty well. So I'm happy with it. And this, like I said, wasn't supposed to be super fancy anyway. It's getting fancier by the minute, but it, that was never my intention with this one. So we've got our leaves that we can put on next. And I might want to double stack a couple leaves here. Now some of these, because they're so tiny, some of the stems didn't cut all the way. And that's okay. Some of them did, some of them didn't. Uh, might want to, yeah, I think I want to stack that one. And see if it's, it, lay it under there. We'll see. So back to these little round ones, because they're big enough for this, I think. And since it's so small, I can probably align it well enough. we will slip that under there like that and we adhere it finally so I'm just kind of test placing them now to see where I where I want them to finally end up and I think I might stick that one out up there at the top of that what do you guys think what do you guys think I'm the only one here but that's okay I kind of like that right there like that. So I'm actually going to get out my glue. Hadn't used this in a while and I pulled it out was it yesterday or the day before for something. And it uh, the head of my pen came off. I was like, oh, oh. I guess I need to uh, get another pen. Trying to get that in there without smearing all my glue. It's not going quite where I wanted it, but that's okay. And let's see, I've got this one. And there's smaller ones though that might look better down here. Yeah, I think I'll give that a pop up too. Just maybe one in the center. Now before I go messing, let's see if I can kind of get it lined up. There we go. Right, we'll put that one down there. And we'll add, maybe slip that leaf into there. Um, Got these double leaves, which might look good down there. And then I've got these yellow ones. I may not use those. We'll see. Because I do want to put, put this one over there, I think. This one's, let's see, does it go that way? Got a little more ink on that one, so I think I'll put it on the back. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I kind of like it better with the extra ink on it. Uh, we'll pop this one up too. Give this more than one though because it's a slightly bigger flower. And I don't really like these little dots anyway. So I might as well use them up because so i got a whole other package of them. Uh, how do we go? We go like that. Uh, 
husband's outside working on the yard. The leaves are everywhere. It's so funny. It's kind of karma because when we moved to North Carolina, he wanted this house and I wanted a different house. Um, the other one was considerably more expensive. But he liked this one better, not because of the price, but because it had all the trees outside. Now, we also didn't have any neighbors in. We were one of two houses at the end of this cul-de-sac. But over the years, the neighborhood's built up since we're no longer in a recession, or well, we weren't then. And, uh, you know, a lot of the trees have come down, but there's still trees all around the house. And so he's got to go out and blow the leaves and mow the leaves and <laughs> do all that. So it's kind of... Kind of what you call karma, I guess. Since he's the one who wanted this one. I love the other one because the kitchen was fabulous. And it was in a, a community that had a pool, which I really wanted coming from Alaska. I really wanted to have a pool. Um, but we ended up putting in a pool anyway, so that didn't really matter. Plus, ours is private. We don't have to share it with the whole neighborhood now, but... Um, uh, the kitchen in the other house was just so much, so much nicer. Pull that out and lay that down so that can dry. Because it was so much bigger. And it was like a, it was a dream kitchen. But that's okay. Okay, so I think I can glue that in there. Like that. It's a little tip on this. I bought these little these little glue bottles for quilling because you can get just the finest little bead of glue but it clogs up easy because it's so fine. So that and because it had set for so long probably that didn't help either. Now I'm going to slip this under there like that. Lay that down on there to help that. Oh, I guess I better glue that in. Yeah, see, it's already got a squeeze. I'll slip that up under there. Hold that down a little bit. I think I got that one glued, didn't I? Yep. So, the front's almost done. And whether or not I think the inside's done is the thing. So, I'm going to glue this little flower down here. And you can see on the back I did not get that lined up very well. But I think it's okay. It's the same flower. It just gives a little dimension. And chances are they won't notice that anyway. Now another card maker might, or paper crafter, but um, these guys aren't going to notice, or they're not going to care. And actually by the time you get done tucking it in there, you can't really tell. So, I love these watercolor leaves. They're so pretty. Now, do I want to add a yellow one? I don't think I want to put the yellow right there next to the to the yellow sentiment. And I feel like I might have enough leaves on that one up there. I mean, maybe I could slip one behind that guy, but I don't really like that. Um, maybe a smaller one. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't love it either. Maybe more like that. Oh, except you can see the, the stem. I'd have to really... You know what? I can just cut that off. And get it back out of there. Uh, where's my scissors? I am not a good fussy cutter. You know, I don't have to cut it all off. Some of it will be hidden. I didn't realize it. Cut that little piece out too. 
So add a little more glue. I should have tweezers. Uh, see if we can get this back in there the way we had it. Oh, smeared my glue. Didn't want to do that. Let's see. It should dry clear, so it probably won't matter other than it might leave a shiny spot there. But it won't if I use a Kleenex. Hopefully it won't in white fuzz from the Kleenex. So now I suddenly feel like I need another leaf to cover that mess up up. So we'll do that. Actually I think these are a little bit, these are a little bit smaller. The file that I was sent, the PDF I was sent, is a little bit smaller than what um, my system printed out. So let's do. There we go. Okay. So we got Happy Thanksgiving. Plus, we got a lot of extra parts, not counting the ones that fell on the floor. So I'll see if you guys can see this. I keep pushing it out of the way. So there is my Thanksgiving card. And it doesn't say Happy Thanksgiving on the front, but I think you can get the idea. You know, the color scheme, the pumpkin, and all that. And then you just slip it up, and it just lays right there where it does say Happy Thanksgiving. And I think it's really pretty. So now i got to make an envelope for it because I don't have any envelopes this size, but I've got plenty of paper, so I'll find something that kind of matches and I will make an envelope for it. Which, I'm not mailing it, so, I mean, maybe I don't even need an envelope. What do you guys think? If you're just handing it to somebody, do you need to put it in an envelope? They're just going to take it home and do whatever they do with it. Hopefully they'll set it up and show it off for a few days. But if they don't, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully... Hopefully you think it's cute. I think it's cute. Um, I'll write my sentiment here on the inside. And like I said, I um, might put the boys' little handprints or something on the back just because I think Mom and Dad will think that's cute. So, there you go. We have our Thanksgiving card.